Alrighty, that was really strange. We are now in a... Oh, excuse me. That was really wild. For those of y'all that don't realize what just happened to me, I did a shoutcast. Um, for the people playing right now, that um, while I was on a Skype call with them, and I thought I had them muted, but as it turns out, I didn't. Um, so they heard the entire shoutcast of their game three minutes behind their game. By the way, not really enjoyable for them. Anyways, I'm going to pause it real fast so that we can see... Stop. Pause this piece. So we're going to pause it real fast just so we can take a look at things because I'm doing this one a tad bit differently. I'm using FRAP, so I was kind of setting it up for the first time. I never really used it before. So what I want to do real fast is what I would normally do during the champion load select screen. So we're going to do it quick because you can see the bar down there while I'm moving faster and faster. So on blue team, we have Ronald Williams running promote and that thing no one uses. And Gangplank running a Flash Ignite and Volibear running... Uh, Oh shit, that other thing no one uses. Uh, actually, that's one everybody uses. Clairvoyance and Flash versus a Cassidy running Heal Exhaust, a Graves running Heal Ignite, and a Leono running Ghost Heal. So many heals, it's so scary. Anyways, let's jump into the gameplay. So we got some level one fighting going on. Volibear at low health. Cat, uh, Leona at quarter health, quarter health missing. Um, or excuse me, Braves missing quarter health. That Volibear already proccing his <laughs> taunt, <laughs> taunting during his passive, which is always funny to see. Always funny to see. Cassidy pushing out kind of far. That Volibear is not going to be able to get the grab. He hesitated far too long. Um, gotta love early game. It's just a lot of city running talking. Oh, uh, or taunting, excuse me. Uh, boots of speed on both Ziggs and Gangplank. Uh, both of them starting with three health pots. Uh, Volibear with the Ruby Crystal. Uh, Cassidy with the Doran's Ring. Graves with the Boots of Speed. Three health pots and a Mana Pot. And Leona with the help with the Armor. Uh, which will be nice against that Gangplank and Volibear. Utterly worthless against that Ziggs, but good to have nonetheless. Um, slight exchange going on in bottom lane. Top lane looks like they're just doing some farming and some harass. Not even some harass, but it looks like they're, there. they're both at full health. Uh, give it a couple of seconds to go back into directed mode. A slight gold advantage to blue. 2,000 gold. They're staying on top of their creep score. Already with more creep from the enemy team. Uh, ooh. They just jumped up while I was doing the math. 12 plus 3 is 15 to 7 on the enemy team. They keep doing that. Blue to purple team will be in trouble from late game. There's the silence. Volibear unable to do what he wanted to do. Slight exchange here. Graves doing some damage to that game plan. Not a whole lot. Just enough to make him think twice about running again. Cassidy is still at low health. <laughs> Volibear slowed, or not slowed, silenced again. Uh, and anytime you see a Volibear charging forward like he was just then, it's a pretty safe assumption that he's going to do his, his little throat, his flippy back thing, but hard to do that when you're silenced. There's the stun by Leona. Unfortunately, the tower hadn't retargeted them yet. And there goes one of those heals being thrown down by the, by the Cassidy. <clears throat> Cassidy able to stay in lane, trying to get his farm on. 12 to uh, 12, 12 or 13 creep score to the bottom. So, uh, excuse me, 14 creep score to purple. And 29, 20, 30 to blue. Uh, picking up boots of speed on that Volibear. Not going to make a huge difference if he keeps getting silenced as he charges in. Leona grabbing her set of boots. Uh, Gangplank now heading back. Who is leading with creep score? Gangplank is leading with creep score, which is exactly where he should be on top lane. He's not splitting that creep with anybody else. Uh, Graves is going to catch up with him on creep score now that he clicks going back. This is why I talk about why lane sustain is so important. That advantage that, that Gangplank had is now almost gone. Um, and it will be gone if Graves is doing what he should be doing by the time 
Gangplank gets back, or before Gangplank 2 gets back. Not that it matters all the way. Gangplank picking up that early Avarice Blade. Here comes the flip. First blood goes to Blue Team. Um, Volibear with the kill. Ziggs with the assist. That's 1-0 to Blue. With a 1,000 gold advantage. Um, Graves now has the creep score advantage, but that Avarice Blade is going to stack in Gangplank's favor. Graves slightly out of position. Both teams, or both of the enemy teams, did they see him? Or maybe they just assumed. Okay. Either way, I don't see a ward down. Yeah, they just assumed. Good assumption, guys. You were on track to, to run into him. Um, Graves staying in lane at 23. Now Graves has the Avarice Blade and the Creep Score advantage to creep on him. Graves coming back in. Is he going to be able to really do anything here? Yes, with that heal. And the flash to escape. Well played, Cody. Um, of course, the third Ziggs is at base. Ziggs picking up Boots of Swiftness. I do want to point out that it is likely that Ziggs is playing some type of Ultimate Bravery. Because um, it's entertaining and fun to watch. Blue still with a 1,000 gold lead thanks to that first blood and the better creep score. 26, 12, and 9 to 23, 11, and 6. Graves. Ziggs is not in lane. Not in lane to get the creep score. That's, or, excuse me, the gameplay is not in lane to get the creep score that's needed. In fact, it looks like he's just chilling, waiting for that gank opportunity that just hasn't come yet. You gotta be careful that you're that the time you're waiting for ganks doesn't take too long. A three bottom. Ooh, those those landmines are gonna hurt. And he's bumped backwards. One more hit. Kill goes to Ronald Williams as Ziggs kill, uh, picking up the kill and Volibear and Gangplank with the assist. Down goes Leona. Gangplank picking up this kill. Volibear and Ziggs with the assist. Graves is coming down, but it's just too late. He's gonna pick up that minion camp instead. Um, it's not warded, but they are headed in that direction. Uh, Gangplank's going to run into him if he goes right. And he doesn't. He just moves to the left. Did he use his ult to clear? Okay, I thought I saw his ult going down up top. Um, he doesn't even have his ult yet. He's only level 5. Ignore me. Um, directed camera. His brother's back up here. Ziggs already... Did Ziggs do any damage to that tower? Yes. Yes, a little bit of damage. is already done to bottom tower by purple. 3-0 to zero in the way of wins. And a 2,000 gold advantage to blue. Ziggs picking up, oh, maybe Ziggs is not doing an ultimate bravery since he grabbed the ward. That is against uh, ultimate bravery rules. Um, Volibear going with the lane sustain with that regrowth pendant. Um, I would have preferred to see that as an earlier, as a, like a first item. That's just my bias. Uh, Leona still just sitting on the cloth armor and the boots. Uh, casting them with the Dorn's Ring and the Boots. Uh, Berserker Greaves on the Graves, which makes sense for him to have the most items since he's the only one really focusing Creep Score properly. Um, but still not quite caught up yet to that Gangplank. And Gangplank does have the gold per 5 second item, so if we were to look here, I bet, I'm willing to bet that that gold that he has doesn't reflect where it should be. Yeah, 2509 to 1870. I'm sorry, but a couple of extra creep score does not account for that. That's the Avarice Blade at work. Oop, there's a fight going on. Volibear is at low health. Is this, And there goes his passive. He's being jumped on. He's not been silenced. He's chasing the wrong person. They need to focus the same thing. There's the silence. Down goes the ult. Gangplank with the kill of the ultimate. Volibear getting away. And... Flash is going to allow Cassidy to escape. Graves out of position, but that Volibear is extremely low on health. Good. Gangplank not really in a position to assist. Volibear is going to escape and run into two enemy champions. Down goes Graves. Ziggs with the kill. Gangplank with the assist. 24 second time on him. It's a 5-0 at the 9 minute mark with a just shy of 4,000. Uh, throw right at 3,000 gold advantage. Got one ward down in uh, mid at red buff. Theo really should move this buff. Oops. Really should move this buff over a little bit, but he's really not at risk right now, anyways, and I doubt that he's really worried about the other team. At the moment, at least. Oh, he's taking it kind of slow, so whatever's. 
Alright, Lola Bear charging in. There's the silence. And Gangplank moving up to top lane. Or no, moving over to the other, uh, moving to one of the neutral creeps. There's the stun. And the silence, he is running. And sweet save. Not really saved by the landmines, but the landmines certainly help him escape. Mm. Popping that promote, gonna give him some extra gold income, which is nice. Speaking of which, let's uh, take a look on the other page here, see what's see what's happening where. Oh, Ooh, is Gangplank gonna see it? He flashed into range, and there's the kill. Volibear, oh, it's a trade. Volibear going down to the tower, uh, but of course Graves getting the kill since he did damage to him. And Gangplank picking up the assist on Graves. Uh, Volibear with that particular kill. Uh, Cassidy and Leona, if we look over at the minimap at the bottom right hand corner, have moved up to assist, but both blue have backed off. They have backed off. Um, Ziggs, sitting on Boots of Swift, has grabbed a uh, dagger, a Kindle gem, and another ward, which we'll probably see go down right now. Fantastic. Uh, Gangplank sitting on the Avarice Blade still. Leona jumping into that Gangplank. Ooh, hitting him for a quarter health. There's the stun. And a heal by Gangplank. And a summoner spell heal by Leona. Uh, nice little engagement there. Nice to see lots of things going on all at once. Um, anyways, back to those items. Pickaxe by the Gangplank. Avarice Blade by the Gangplank. Brawler's Gloves by the Gangplank. Lots of crit chance going on there with those two items. And the and the Boots of Lucidity, so he's going to have cooldown reduction as well, so that's just going to increase the amount of time he can shoot that parlay off. Volibear, still with the sustain item, still with the health items. He's doing a lot of damage and doing a fantastic job. Cassidy with the Berserker Greaves and the Doran's Ring. Uh, Berserker's... Oh, fight! Oh, ult! Taking down that Cassidy. And and looks like Leona is indeed going to get away. Ziggs picking up the kill on that Cassidy and Volibear with the assist. Graves up in top jungle. And the Gangplank farming as he should. 53 to 43 in creep score. So he is winning that lane. Uh, 3 0 2 to Gangplank versus 1 2 0 to Graves. Not a good spot for Purple to be in. Not to mention, if we look up at the top of the screen, we'll see that Blue is winning uh, with a six kill advantage, seven to one, and a ma and a pretty massive gold lead for being only twelve thousand. Or excuse me, twelve minutes in, eleven thousand to seven thousand. Zero towers taken. Gray setting up for the stun or the slow. Well, we're out of position, but he's going to keep running forward, which is the right thing to have done just then. Uh, but he just ran back into all three of them, which may not go very well. Uh, but it's going to go just fine. Ignore me. That's one down. Gangplank picking up the kill on Leona. Cassidy picking up the kill on Volibear. I had a feeling he was in a bad spot. Graves is going to make it out by the skin of his teeth, sitting at just somewhere shy of 70 health. He regen some of it before I could look. And so it was a trade. Uh, one for one, sending uh, Harrison back home, though. So it is going to put him in a position where he cannot farm. Then again, there's two tops, so he wouldn't have been able to farm even if he had survived. Silence on the game plank. One really good way to just shut down that cooldown reduction is, hey, you can't cast anyways. So that's fun to see. Uh, shortening that gap in kills there, picking up one kill for purple, putting them at a five kill disadvantage um, to blue. 12,000 to 8,000, so still sitting on that 3 grand gold disadvantage. Excuse me, 4 grand gold disadvantage. Um, Kasten's heal is not on cooldown. Graves and Leona both on cooldown there. Um, Ziggs, not in bound. His promoter's not out, that makes sense. Um, items, items, items. Ziggs with a Zeke's Herald. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm thinking that's an ultimate bravery, but I'm gonna have to call him out on that uh that, that ward he picked up. Something ain't right about that. Um Bola Bear with the giant's belt is just gonna make him harder to kill and make his uh E I think it is do more damage. Yep, nope, E Casey, why did we lose Casey? Dang. 
at the 14 minute mark, Casey at, the purple team at a massive disadvantage, losing one of their teammates. It doesn't matter how how poorly or how how great the team was do, the teammate was doing, being down a teammate never good. Casting that heal, uh, Caster was going to survive that engagement anyways, but the heal just solidified it. Volibear coming in with the flash. And the slow down goes Graves, thanks to a wonderful play by Cody, or excuse me, Slappy, uh, Gangplank with the assist. Purple losing a tower, really widening, uh, picking up those extra kills and getting that tower, really widening the gap in gold there, 14,000 to 8,000, almost double the gold um, if you really look at it. Uh, 9 to 2 at the 15 minute mark, and they're down a player. This is really not good for Purple. Cassidy with that Hextech gun, or excuse me, the Hextech revolver, which is a wonderful, wonderful item to see on Cassidy. Gotta love how so. There's the promote, which I don't know if you knew this or not, but promote not only gives you a ton of gold if used properly, it can push towers like a boss. Um, uh, let's say Blue picking up some just neutral creeps real quick. Cassidy going to the top. Is he going to get the small camp or the big camp? He's going for the small camp. Ooh, Leona, come back. Let's see, creep score, dang, that gang flank is an 84 creep and 58 creep. One thing I didn't point out earlier when I met, when I noticed how much higher Gangplank's gold is that I should have remembered is Gangplank also gets additional gold uh, from his parlay if you parlay if you kill a minion. So let's uh, back it up just a little bit there so we can see that kill happen underneath this tower. Um, yeah, Cassin is going to jump out there. That puts his warp on cooldown. He should have just charged him. There's the the double toss back combination by Cody and Daniel. Excuse me, Ronald Williams and Daniel. They are beating on this tower here. Volibear's um, passive healing him for massive amounts of damage. Down goes that tower. 16,000 to 9,000 gold. Still just shy of double the gold. Two towers down, uh, zero inhibitors taken, 10 to 2 kill death ratio. Or, excuse me. That, uh, I can't think. Ugh. 10 to 2 and kills. Does that two parlays back to back? Really, really, really was. <sighs> hmm. Wait a second. That was weird. I'll have to watch that again. Maybe that's. There's no way. Maybe he's just critting for that much and it looks like it's a parlay. Or, you know, I think one of his auto attack animations is like a point blank range shot to the face. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Either way, it looks looks like two parlays. Those crits back to back like that doing so much damage. It's a scary thing. Tossing that Cassidy out of position. Flashing that bush, she'll still die. Cassidy goes down. Um... Uh, to gang playing Volibear picking up the assist Ziggs, unfortunately not getting any of that. Um, looks like they're gonna take another tower. Oh yep, Volibear just kinda scaring them off. I know I'm muted this time. I don't know why you're messaging me on Skype, but I know I'm muted. Um Sorry for the giant gap there. For I'm gonna have to edit these together. I, uh, my Skype became unmuted, and I'm in the call with the people that are playing, but 
it unmuted, and all of a sudden they could hear me again. Which I don't know if you if you guys have problem people watching this have probably never experienced this before, but hearing a shoutcast with a three minute delay, and in this case a little bit more than three minutes, is really obnoxious. Um Anyways, sorry. Back, I don't know what we missed. I'm sorry. It looks like Blue is still doing a great job. Nothing major has happened. So sorry for that jump in um, recording. Um, wow, I'm just flattering. It's so embarrassing when that happens because uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Down goes the last tower. Cast it in trying to get a last little bit of damage there to that Gangplank, but he was nowhere near going down. Gangplank hitting for 7 and 9. <laughs> Funny, Daniel. <laughs> now you're being silly. And that's the win. Victory goes to blue team, 22,000 to 11,000, a 10,000 10, plus gold advantage, 14 to 2, 5 to 0 towers. Casey just now reconnected. Um, good game.